Good morning, world. <laughs> I wanted to address this topic because I think everyone I know is going through a tough time. And um, I include myself in having quite a few challenges just this week alone. And what to do about it. Wow, sometimes when you've been working so hard to do something about it, it might mean to do nothing about it and wait. Well, maybe not. Wait isn't the right word, but here's what I do to move myself through a particularly challenging time. I try to keep it moving. Um, taking baby steps to another option. So uh, it might be calling a friend, meditating, having a cup of coffee, which I'm going to take a sip right now. Coffee is wonderful. Taking a walk outside, um, calling your mother if she's still here. I love you, Mom and Dad. They're not still here, but they are. They're in the ethers, and I do talk to them still. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. Go to, uh, moving is a really beneficial thing. Um, sometimes when I'm on YouTube too long <laughs> and it starts to be that you've seen yourself on, uh, you've noticed that you've been on screen time a lot, uh, in the name of research or entertainment or whatever, it's time to get up and do something new. Um, so I had some ideas this morning because yesterday was pretty bad. I got scammed on buying a used a iPhone. It's all repaired now. Um, but I learned something from it. See, the thing is, is painful and awkward and ugly and not fun as those challenging times are. We always learn stuff from them. It just seems to be the only way. Um but it really gets down to your your mindset and knowing that this too shall pass it's going to it's going to change by tomorrow it's not going to stay the same so it's sort of like we hold ourselves in this place of oh it can't get any better and then you're in this sort of negative turmoil play I know I was I went through like about 48 hours didn't sleep well of being upset um I don't need to go into the details but I realized when I came out of it that I was really choosing to hold myself in that space and now that I'm not holding myself there it's a lot better and another thing I realized was that I was moving too fast so sometimes the answer is slow down um my son, Wolf, thank you, Wolf, told me before I went to Italy and Sicily not to rush. Just go slow. <laughs> As I walked in my new Merrill shoes that grip the ground, and every time I felt myself hurrying up to catch a train or a bus or trying to get somewhere, I thought, wait a minute, I'm going to slow down. And it worked. Sometimes doing nothing is the thing to do um, and just relaxing. Like I haven't had a Saturday off in quite a while where I was uh, not teaching or moving around some way. And it's quite delicious. It's raining and I have video work to do and, and, and I'm happy to do it. So... There's a choice in being happy because I sure didn't choose it the last couple of days until I finally was like, okay, things are getting better. It was a big relief to go to the Apple store. And even though I had to pay for the repair, it was going in the right direction. So sometimes taking the baby step to the right direction is all you need to do. So I'm going to leave you with that. Have a wonderful weekend. And thanks for all your comments and shares and likes. Um, tell me what you think of, uh, I'm on Magnify, which is this consultation service where you can go right on and uh, talk to me about things. And uh, I think I'm going to do it.
So I will see you in the next video and have a beautiful day.